Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we have got an unboxing video. These are some things that I ordered myself, some stuff from Jobs, and then also just some PR brand mail that we're gonna open up. I was out of town for around two weeks, and so this is just some stuff that's come in the mail. I know you guys really enjoy these videos, and so I thought it'd be fun to do a quick unboxing and just show you guys what I got. Like all of my videos, I'll have everything I can linked down below in the description box. So if there's anything that maybe you're interested in as well, check out the description box down below. We're gonna just go ahead and start with what's on top here. This first package is from Amazon. I ordered some stuff while I was on my trip and I think I ordered some sunglasses and a sun hat. So some of these boxes are gonna be things that I bought while I was on my trip. I realized while I was gone that I really only had like one kind of pair of sunglasses and I really wanted to get some sunglasses that were a little bit more like trendy. And so I decided to order some on Amazon because I think they were maybe like $18 and there were some really cool frames that one of the girls in Miami had. Her name's Kathleen. I'll put her Instagram down below. She has like the coolest style ever and she had these really cool sunglasses on and so I went to her like to note page and I got them myself because they just looked so good on her and I'm really hoping that they look good on me because I have like a flat nose because I'm Asian and a lot of times sunglasses don't work on me because my nose is so flat so I typically have to get sunglasses that have the little nose tab things and so these sunglasses don't it's really hard to find trendy sunglasses that have the nose piece like there's a pair of celine sunglasses that i really really want and they don't have the nose piece and they hit my cheeks and i can't really wear that style so i went with something a little bit smaller the celine ones are super huge and those haven't worked for me in the past. I did see one time that Nordstrom Rack had a pair of the Celine sunglasses, like actually Celine brand, and they had the nose pieces. And I regret so much not just like spending the money and getting those because I really wanted that style, but I needed the nose tabs. And that's like, honestly, one of my biggest regrets is not getting that pair of sunglasses. Anyway, so I got two pairs of sunglasses here. These ones, I think both of them, together were $16. I got the ones that Kathleen had. So there's two different kinds here. We've got one with this tortoise fading into black with like a warm shade or a warm lens. And then this pair is all black and it has more of like a cooler toned lens. And these ones, you know, are like a dupe of what Hailey Bieber wore. And just, I feel like a lot of Instagrammers and trendy people are wearing this style of sunglasses. So we're just gonna see how they look on me. As you guys can see, I have the more flat nose. I will say that they do feel secure. I feel like a lot of times if they don't have the nose piece, they like slide down my face, but they do feel secure and they're really, really cute. I love this shape of frame. The only thing is that I feel like if I wear any type of sunglasses that don't have the nose piece, if I wear mascara, my eyelashes kind of like hit against the lenses. So they're not like really rubbing against the lenses, but if I like try to push them up, my lashes do hit them a little bit. But typically if I like wear them to the pool or something, I won't have mascara on. Also, I think I'm growing out my bangs. This is gonna be a very chatty video. So maybe this is not gonna be a quick unboxing video. I, I think I'm growing out my bangs and these looked really good with like a slicked back hairstyle. So maybe once my bangs grow out a little bit, we can, you know, try out different styles, hairstyles with these glasses. I love these. I think these are my favorite actually, between these and the all black ones. I love these. Everything is so warm. They have like a really pretty like amber lens to them. Okay, these ones are really cute. I really, really like these. So like imagine hairs up, you know, they look really good. So I'll link these down below. Like I said, I got them on Amazon, really, really affordable. Just kind of nice. Cause I feel like sometimes I don't want to wear my crew sunglasses in the pool. And this is going to be our first spring and summer with the pool. Like I've always hesitated wearing my like nice crew sunglasses in the pool because of the chlorine. So very, very pumped about those. Hopefully I won't talk about everything else as long as I talked about those, but I felt like I had to give like a backstory to why I ordered those. And anyway, 
Next up is from Olive and June. This is my favorite nail polish brand. This is not gel, this is just regular polish. Um, I believe it's sold at Target, but you can get it on the Olive and June website. I have a discount code for 20% off. I'll link down below. I'm wearing Olive and June right now. This is the color Chemistry. I had a lot of y'all asking about this like neutral. It's my favorite neutral that Olive and June has. My nails are grown out a little bit, but it's really, really pretty. So I got two new colors. They've had some really fun pastels for spring and summer. And typically around the springtime is when I get a little bit more colorful in my style and in my nails. So I got two new colors. This is the shade called J.O. Really pretty pale pastel orange. And then this is the color Cockatoo, which is this pretty pale purple pastel. So, so cute. I actually kind of like them together. Really, really pretty. That's from Olive and June. Next up, what is this? I think this is from Amazon. This might be Jason's. I think he might be ordered a book. This might actually not be me. Whenever we order from Amazon, we just order to like my name. So sometimes stuff shows up that's not mine. Yeah, these are, this is Jason's book. This is called iGen. Why today's super connected kids are growing up less rebellious, more tolerant, less happy, and completely unprepared for adulthood. He, he loves reading these types of like psychology books. So that's not mine, that's his. Next up is something from Walmart. I'm doing two jobs with Walmart this month and I'm so excited because I personally just love working with Walmart. They are so easy to work with, really, really nice. We're doing two home campaigns for them. So I got some stuff for those campaigns that I thought I would just share with y'all anyway in case you don't have Instagram and you wanted to just see what I got. First thing is a pool float. Got this one in green. This is gonna be me in the spring and summer. And we actually have to shoot this in the next couple of weeks. So I'm really hoping that it warms up and that I can get into the pool. We can heat our pool, but I'm hoping that the surrounding air is also like 75 degrees or warmer. But yeah, this is like a little chill lounger. You can put your drinks in there. And I think this was like $6. We only have, I think two adult floats for our pool. And then we have some kitty floats, but we're hoping to have people over at the pool all the time. So it's gonna be nice to have that. All right, another thing from Walmart here. Oh, I'm pumped for this. This is the Summer Waves lounger. So this isn't part of the campaign. I actually just saw this on the Walmart website and I was like, I'm gonna also buy this. So I got this for our pool as well because I thought this one was more of like a luxe lounger and it has cup holder and then it has a like Bluetooth speaker that comes with it. It's the H2O Beats Ergo Lounger. I didn't really get it for the speaker, but that's kind of convenient. It has a detachable waterproof a Bluetooth speaker included. I just thought this one looked really comfortable to lounge on. So two new floats. I got some shorts from Walmart because I wanted to test out their free assembly line. I got a dress from free assembly from Walmart and I really liked it. And so I wanted to try out some other stuff from them. And these are like a pocket short. They said they were high-waisted. Got them in my normal size. And they have like pockets here in the front and then they have pockets here in the back. But I just thought those were really cute online. So I thought I would try it out. And then the last thing from this Walmart box, this has just turned out to be a pool float haul, is this palm leaf float. I'm so pumped. This one is six feet long and it's this leaf that you sit on. And I thought this one was really, really cute. So we have different, we have a variety. We've got the Ergo Lounger, we've got the Chill Out Lounger, and then we've got this one. If you don't wanna get wet, you just wanna be dry. So we have like options. We have like the half in, half out seat, the Ergo Lounger where you're fully out, but you're supported, you know, back support. And then we've got this one, which is the, I wanna lay down and I don't wanna get wet lounger. So I'm really, really pumped. I think we have a pump. Oh, I do. I actually got, I wonder if I can use this. I bought an electric pump for blowing up balloons for a balloon arch for a 
bridal shower that I hosted. And I wonder, be way better than the hand pump that I also have. Next up, we've got something from Ilia Beauty. What's your foundation? True Skin Serum Foundation. New active formula now in 30 shades. So this is the box. Everything kind of fell out, but that's fun. All right, we've got two shades of the new True Skin Serum Foundation. This must be a new product then. I know they've had a foundation in the past, but this must be a new one because it's a serum foundation. It is lightweight, smoothing, soothing with niacinamide, aloe infused, and alatoin. Toin? Alan, Alan Toin. T-O-I-N. Alan Toin? I've never heard of that, but they sent the shades SF 4.5 and SF 4. So let's see what these shades look like. This is SF 4. Looks like it could be close. This might be a good summer shade. I wonder what it looks like. I'll have to test this out. I'm not gonna pump it onto my skin, but I'll test it out. We'll see how it looks on the skin. This is 4.5. So this one, they're like the same deepness this one has more like pinky undertones. This one has more like olive undertones. I think either one could be really close. I'm a little bit pale still, believe it or not. We were in Florida for 11, no, we were in Florida for like 13 days, but I did not get that much sun. It was like a high of 80 in Miami and I wore a ton of sunscreen, so I didn't get a ton of sun there. And then it was, like high of 75 for most of the days while we were in 30A on our anniversary trip. And I definitely got like a little bit of sun biking around, but I didn't do any laying out. I like went to the beach and I read for a little bit, but I didn't actually like get in a swimsuit at all while we were in 30A. So I'm definitely still on the paler side, but we have a pool. So I'm gonna get my pre-tan on before we invite people over. I'm just gonna start like tanning. This is, I don't know what this is. So this was sent to my P.O. box. Oh wait, on the back it says, glowing skin ahead. Oh, this is from Pure, which is a beauty brand. I don't even really know how I got on their list, honestly. I feel like all of a sudden stuff from them just kind of started showing up. But I liked a lot of the stuff that I've tried. So this is Ready, Set, Glow. These are, go with the glow, niacinamide drops. Helps reduce the appearance of shine and redness with a more radiant look, age-defying niacinamide, vitamin C, and superfood blend ingredients with kale, spinach, aloe, and lavender. Cool. Is there something else in here? Oh, we've got liquid IVs. Cool. I think you just put these in water. Oh wait, something else. Ooh, ooh, a glass water bottle. Cute, so that's for the, I would assume for the liquid IVs. Okay, is that everything? Another liquid IV. It's like an Easter egg hunt sometimes in these box. Whenever brands send these confetti boxes, it definitely is like an Easter egg hunt. You gotta search for the stuff. And I always feel like I'm leaving something in there. Next up, this is from Tarte. So excited, I don't know what this is, but it comes in this fun purple mailer. Fun! All right, so it looks like this is to promote the friends and family 30% off sale. This is already happening. So, and I think by the time this video goes up, it will have already been over, but I've posted about it on my Instagram stories and on my Like To Know It page multiple times. So if you follow me on Instagram or you follow me on Like To Know It, you've probably already seen me post about the sale and my favorite things to get during the sale, it's 30% off. I'll put my Instagram and my Like To Know It page down below in the description box. I have I've been posting more actually on my like to note page than I have been even posting to stories. So if you want like different content or just extra stuff that I'm into, sales that I've been finding lately, I'll just throw them up on like to know it. And sometimes I won't even post them on my Instagram stories. So if you want like to be more in the know about sales or just things that I'm into or stuff that's like in my shopping cart or anything like that, I will have my like to know page down below in the description box. So this was for the friends and family sale. We've got two of the Juicy Lips, which are the best. We've got hibiscus and coconut. So this is coconut. It's like a really pretty kind of neutrally nude. These are, if you haven't tried these, these are like so hydrating. They are 
honestly like more hydrating than a lip balm and they're not as sticky though as a gloss so they're like between a lip balm and a gloss as far as like the moisture that they give you this is the shade hibiscus which is still kind of like a mauve neutral but a little bit deeper they also are pretty sheer so you definitely don't have to worry about them being too bold like if you go with hibiscus which is like a deeper shade it's actually pretty sheer you can build up the color a little bit but they're definitely not like a lipstick they're amazing i have three of them in my purse and i have quite the collection of these now and i love them got the man eater mascara this is a really really great mascara for separating lashes really natural looking lashes with that what else do we got we have another juicy lip this is in rose this is like a neutral kind of like coconut but a little bit more on the pink side versus the kind of brownish orange side rose and coconut are some of my favorites and so is villa villa is definitely one of my favorites this is the foundation powder amazonian clay foundation powder in medium typically i'm like a light light medium and then i'm get i haven't actually had this for summer but i do get pretty tan during the summer so i think this might actually be perfect for when i get a little bit darker this is the tartlet in bloom palette oh no sad one of the shadows did not make it but it actually didn't break all the way just the top of it broke off so interesting um this is my favorite 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 palette jason's gonna kill me because he literally always makes fun of me for how many times i say favorite but i'm not even kidding you this is my number one palette recommendation to literally anybody and the shadow that broke is actually the one that i never use so we're good this is the palette though this is the one that broke a little bit it didn't actually break all the way out of the pan just some of the top kind of flaked off but as you can see it's super neutral so it doesn't really lean warm or cool tone it really is like very in the middle and it's just so flattering on most people i love it gets super deep it also gets really light so you can build out so many daytime looks take them into nighttime do a dramatic smoky eye i mean this palette does everything shimmers mattes everything so if you've never tried this palette or you're looking for just a go-to eyeshadow palette i never travel without this at this point like this is the grab and go palette for me it's a great size too like it's not too small where you don't have options but it's also not the giant full bloom palette which is like this big so it's perfect for traveling you have everything you need i will for sure link this down below since the sale is over i'll just link my discount code with tart that is i think 15 percent off it's always available for y'all i'll have it down below in the description box this is a must like if you haven't tried this yet guys i have turned so many people onto this palette i would 100 recommend this palette to anybody if you're getting into makeup, if you are a makeup obsessed person, it's just, it's so good and it's so worth having. My best friend, Mary Helen, like she is not that into makeup, but she wanted an eyeshadow palette and I recommended this to her and she loves it. So even if you aren't super into eye looks or anything like that, it's just really, really usable. Very, very user friendly. Highly recommend. And then we've got a few of the Shape Tape line. So we've got Shape Tape Cloud Coverage. I'm obsessed with this and it's so, so lightweight, not oily at all, not shiny, but also it's like not matte. It's very comfortable wear. Again, I'm usually light medium. So they sent everything in medium in anticipation that maybe I'm gonna get tanner. I'm really hoping that I will get tan enough to use this stuff. Um, this is light medium sand. This is the shape tape, the iconic shape tape. And then this is the face tape, which is their foundation, which is also really good. Honestly, all of their like foundation products, I really, really like, especially their new launch, which is the Power Flex concealer i believe is what it's called so i'll have all this links down below with my discount code so you guys can check it out next up this is i believe from amazon okay so this is another thing that i got because of kathleen i mentioned her earlier she's the one that influenced the sunglasses okay so i also got this sun hat because of her she was wearing it in black in Miami and I was like that is perfect it's a visor so that you can have your ponytail like up out of the visor oh I have a package being delivered okay literally while I was filming that I had FedEx come by and we have something from Missouri a very very special box that I will get into in a separate video because I want to do a full video on that but we also just got something else from Tarte I have no idea 
what this is. Box inside of a Bosch. Ooh. Okay, this might be a new product. I'm not sure if I am allowed to share yet. Let me just see if they've talked about this yet because I don't want to spoil something if it's not released yet. Okay, I don't think this is out yet, so I can't share this, but follow me on Instagram because I will have a secret link for you guys to this product, I think three days before it actually launches on the website. So just follow me on Instagram and you'll see in my stories when I share that link with y'all. I believe that will be on the 13th. So check my Instagram on 13th to see what's launching. You'll get a link to the Tarte website that isn't available to the public and I'll be able to share then, but I can't share now. So that will be a little hidden surprise for later. Okay, next up, we've got a package from Thayer's. Wait, what was I saying? Did I miss this hat thing? And it's really, really cute, great visor. Again, one day the bangs are gonna be a little bit more like curtain bangs, but it's nice because like I said, you can have your ponytail sticking out, wear a high pony, still protect the face. It's really cute and I'll link it down below. Okay, this is from Thayer's. And we've got, oh my gosh, we got so many toners. We've got the cucumber toner, the unscented toner, and then the rose petal toner. And then we've got this other unscented, what is this? Oh, this is the unscented facial mist. So this one is a just refreshing face mist, so wonderful. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Collagen Super Fusion Facial Oil. I love facial oils. This is the packaging, really, really Charlotte Tilbury. Very, very glam. Open it up, so stunning. I love the Charlotte Tilbury packaging. It is truly so luxe. This is a little info card, tissue paper. All right, we've got the Collagen Super Fusion Facial Oil. Here she is. Beautiful. Ooh, the bottom. Just noticed. It's a really cool little effect. It's fun. So excited to try this out. They also sent the Magic Cream. This stuff is so good, guys. It's so thick so rich and your skin feels like you got a facial the next morning if you use this at night it's definitely like a good night cream probably wouldn't use it during the day because it is really really thick but it's it's so good and your skin will really like be glowing after this cream so was not expecting that that's so fun i've recently gotten into charlotte tilbury's skincare products i use a lot of their makeup but i haven't really ever tried out a lot of their skincare until recently so very excited for that oil Last thing here is from Walmart. We've got lots of fun things here for kind of spring cleaning, spring organizing from Walmart. I'm actually super pumped for this. This is the Shark Wand Vac and it's one and a half pounds. So it's super lightweight, really small. And I thought this would be perfect for the kitchen to like vacuum up any food and then also to have by jason's coffee station he like makes coffees multiple times a day and there's always little coffee grounds everywhere and you really can't see them like a ton on our dark countertop but they drive me crazy because they're just scattered everywhere and i feel like you can never get all of them up so i thought this would be so perfect to have for our kitchen just have it for like all the food it comes with a fabric attachment so i can vacuum up the dining room chairs and then it just has a couple nozzles but yeah it's so so light like even this box is really lightweight should we just open it up i'm really pumped for this honestly i think this was the thing i was most excited about from walmart just because we love shark vacuums like we have a corded shark vac we have the shark robot vac and then this is another shark product i feel like their stuff just works really well but this is the vacuum i believe yeah so this is it this is the whole thing right here and it has a little dust cup so obviously like if you're vacuuming up food and stuff 
It's like obviously for small things, right? Like countertops and everything, but it has a little suction here. So it vacuums up in here, dumps it in here. And then you just, how do you dump? The, oh, push this button, dumps the cup right into the trash. So you hold it over the trash, boom, dump. So excited. And then it like charges on its base. There's like a single power button. I wonder if it's charged. Honestly, I'm gonna have way too much fun with this. I love cleaning. I don't know if you guys feel this way about like cleaning and tidying. I love it. And this <laughs> might be my new favorite hobby, just like vacuuming up little crumbs and things. I don't know, I'm weird like that. It comes with a precision nozzle, love. And then it comes with its base. So I'm probably just gonna have this sitting out on the coffee station because it's kind of off to the side of our kitchen anyway. So I'm gonna just have this propped up in our little nook by our coffee stuff. And then you, I think you just go like, boop, and that's it. And this is a vacuum. Oh my gosh. When I told Jason I got this, I was definitely way too excited to have gotten a vacuum, but it's whatever. And then this is, I think part of the base actually, so that I can sit. Part of the base, are you part of the base? Yes, it is. Click, we move the cord off to the side, down the side, the back. Boom, look at that. So base, vacuum, a bam This is amazing. I'm so excited to have this. And then it comes with this little attachment for fabric. So like chairs, dining chairs, couches, stuff like that. So say someone spills chips somewhere, vacuum it up. Yay! I don't even know why I'm so excited for this, but I just, I just love cleaning. I don't know. Oh, does this attach in there? I think that attaches in there like that maybe. Or I'm just like making this up, but I'm pretty sure that like sits in there. And then this guy, does this sit in here too? Maybe I just made that up. I don't know if that actually does that. This goes, does something attach in here? Okay, I can conclude these attachments don't sit in the base which is fine. I don't know why I thought they did, but they don't. This is it. This is really cute. I can't wait to use it. Vacuum everything up in my whole life. Perfect. I also got a couple organization things from Walmart as well. I got these two baskets with this cane detail. Thought this would be really great for either our pantry or for my like hairsprays and stuff that are under the sink. I feel like they're constantly just like falling over. And I thought this would be kind of nice to like organize my hair products in, like keep them all in the basket. And then when I need it and I pull it out, they're not just like falling over and making a ton of noise. So I got one of those. I actually got two of them. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them for the bathroom or for our linen closet. I could put like our towels and stuff in them or if I'm gonna use them for our pantry, I'm not sure yet. So excited to see what those end up being for. I got two things from the Home Edits collection at Walmart. They are like organizational pros and they have so many great little container systems depending on what you need. So I got the 10 pack bath edit. I think this was like $20 and I got 10 of these little storage containers. And you guys watched my like organize with me video that I did when we moved in. My gosh, I got a bunch of containers from the container store, which were all amazing. Like the sizes I needed and everything, but I didn't get that many and they were more expensive than they were at Walmart. So I was like kind of shocked that you got 10 of these, I think for like 20 something dollars. So these are gonna be so great for organizing makeup, our junk drawer. I'm so excited. We've got two of these, well, three of these shapes. These like really perfect sizes for makeup, but also for like scissors, pens, all that stuff, three of those. And then you can see here, we've got three of these little ones and then two, no, three, four. <laughs> four of these mid-sized ones. So very, very pumped for that. I will either Show you guys in a vlog or you'll see it on my Instagram how I organize with them. And then I got these for our pantry. These are specifically for snacks and cans and all the good things. So 
you can kind of see. These ones are called the Set Up Your Storage Five Piece Pantry Edits. So you get two of the everything large bin, which is perfect for snacks, chips, goldfish, etc. And then you get one of the three tier risers and they sell the risers individually as well. So if I really like it, I might go onto the site and get some more of the risers because these are perfect for baking ingredients, cans, anything where you have stuff just kind of like like staggered behind each other and you're like, you can't see what's in the back of your cabinet. These kind of raise it up like this and you can see everything. So it's like a little riser, little bleachers for your cans. And then you get, what was the other one? It was two of the large insert bins, which I'm not sure what the large insert bin is compared to the everything large bin. Oh, the insert bins are these smaller ones, which might be good for like seasonings and stuff like that. So I'm really, really pumped for all this organization stuff. If you guys haven't looked at the Walmart website in a while, seriously check it out because they have literally everything. They're kind of like an Amazon at this point where they carry a ton of stuff. And especially stuff like these organizers are so much cheaper on Walmart than they were at the container store. So if you're looking to do like spring cleaning, spring organizing, I will link this stuff down below. But that is everything from this unboxing. We had a lot to go through. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if any of this like piqued your interest. If you end up trying anything out, especially the pool floats, let me know. But yeah, if you are new here and you wanna stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you back on my channel and I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys.